السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته معاكم اخوكم عبد الرحمن من قناه اماب سي دي واليوم معايا سبيشال جيست بروسا جو بروسا فروم ذا فاذر اوف اول بروسس هلو هاي هاو يو دوينغ I'm I'm pretty much exhausted after two shows in a row. Oh, but but I mean, let's uh, let's show you the new stuff we have. Please, love to. So in New York Maker Fair, we released a new uh, SLA printer called, called Original Prusa SL1. It's this little beast. It is an LCD-based uh, resin printer, and uh, it has quite a few special things about it. So it is, uh, well, it has a tilting bed for uh, easier peeling of the objects uh, from, the, from the FEP membrane. It has automatic calibration because we use the same trinamic sensors we use in our Mark III. So just so, lower it down yes, and it'll yes, automatically. Yes, yes. And a uh, few of the more notable features is also a fume extraction. Okay. And also together with the SL1, we released a new uh, curing and washing machine. So basically, Basically, when you are done printing, you just take uh, off the plate and you wash it and finish the curing in the in the machine. So you don't have to you don't have to touch the resin with your bare hands too much. And does that come in a package? Uh, no, it's a it's a separate thing. But we we have a bundle uh, for okay. for better price. So I mean, if if you want more information about it, I definitely forgot about something. So best is to go to the prusaprinters.org and check the details over there. Definitely, definitely do that. All right, we also have the new filament, Prusament. Yes, so this is the spool. Okay. Uh, maybe I can take one this uh, off. But basically the idea behind it was that, you know, as a printer manufacturer, we have everything under control. We know how to make firmware, we know how to make software, we know how to make hardware, we, we do the print settings, but there is only one last variable in, in the process of making a beautiful print, Which and is that is the filament. And after the first MMU, we were not always uh, happy with what manufacturers claim they provide. So you can actually see the each yes. effect of the tolerance. Yeah. So, so we decided that we will make our own filament. Right. So this nice. is uh, how the spool looks. We have beautiful custom spool. Oh, beautiful. And on this one, you can see that it has a laser edged, uh, basically a burst certificate. So okay. we are making 20 microns or better. Oh, wow, uh, nice. we, can, we can check, check this spool out. So can someone go visit actually the website and see the exact tolerance yes, and the data? Yes, exactly. There's a little bit on the on the label. So this one is uh, 1,066 grams. So it's 66 grams for free. So you can print a little uh, little trinket Sample. to remember the card uh, to remember the color. And this spool is made with 17 micron tolerance. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. And, and each one's tracked. Yes. And maybe you can do that in post, but I'll show it here. Yeah. You can just scan the QR code and go to the website. And when you load it, oh, you see when it was made, all the tolerances and stuff. And that's for that exact specific yes, spool? Yes, that's for this spool. Wow, and we have amazing. also a little neat feature called calcul Calculate. So when you have uh, the spool already partially used, you can, put, you can weigh it and put in like 600 grams. So and it, 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 it uh, reduces it for the weight of the spool and uses the density of the material to count how, ma how many meters you have left. So you can use it with your slicer to know if you have enough. Wow, that is beautiful. So and then, we, I mean, you have multiple colors already. Yes, um, yes. You can see some of the colors here. <laughs> and we, are, we will always be introducing more and more. What about different materials? Uh, so right, we, we started with PLA, but we have uh, developed uh, PETG and ASAA. So these are going to be uh, available pretty soon too. Nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Pleasure. Take care. Thank you. Bye. I. <laughs> uh,